Because this gun used to not be... It's good, dude. It's actually good. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like this. Bro, it beams. What is he doing there? What are you doing there? What are you doing there? Let me reload, please. Oh my gosh, this multi. Basically, the M107 with the CQB barrel now can torso kill. And yeah, it could do that before, but it didn't have... So hello gamers and welcome back to another video. I'm recording this live with my chat and we're going to be talking about the new meta guns in Phantom Forces. So basically we got C7A2. This was pretty meta before. AK-47. All these guns have gotten a nerf. So now we're going to try to figure out which guns will be the meta in the future. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was of course the G3 and AG3 changes. The G3 got a very very tiny nerf in order to make it more balanced with the AG3 which is not true at all. The AG3 is actually just kind of worse now. AG3 does less damage. Damage. It does have a pretty nice headshot multiplier, but the G3 actually has a better one still and does more damage and fires faster and reloads faster and walks faster, but has a lot worse recoil. So this is actually a pretty good change overall. The G3 cannot three hit kill unless you're hitting headshots anyway. And since the AG3 is way more controllable, they're still kind of balanced, but I'd say the G3 is now kind of better. The first one I wanted to really look at is of course 25 or 20 tactical on the Colt LMG. So they did fix this. Now the Colt LMG only has 20 tac. So basically this does have a 30 round magazine. It reloads really fast and it gets better velocity, better pen, better headshot multiplier and better overall stats, except it used to get better ranges and now it doesn't. If you want a full video on that? I do have a full video on it on my channel. Basically, this is a very large uh, assault rifle that conserves damage really, really well. It can two shot headshot to like 75 studs and it can three hit kill really far as well. It does have a 30 round mag and not a 60 anymore but it reloads so fast it doesn't really matter too much and i feel like that's going to be pretty meta they also did nerf the hk21 and now does 24 min damage and it has the old sound effect back keep in mind Okay, it's actually quite a bit worse. So kind of the death of the meta of the HK-21, hopefully. And the RPK did get a nerf, but the RPK-74 is still insanely good. It has great damage ranges, great velocity, great reload time, good pen, two-shot headshot to like 100 studs, three-shot body to like 100 studs, four-shot anywhere on the body to like 150 studs. This gun is kind of the meta right now. I mean, at least I would say because it's accurate. It just does good damage. It holds up super well at range. This thing is so good right now. And it's probably the best LMG right now. I mean, like, the AUG H bar and the L86 are still great. But, like, they did nerf the FAL 50 and the 5.56 conversion on the FAL 50, along with nerfing FAL Paris Shorty. So now these won't be as big of a problem. Same with SCAR H. They will still be very, very good, just not quite as good. But, you know what they didn't nerf? The Colt SMG. The Colt SMG is still insanely powerful. I don't think this will change unless people talk about it a lot more. Because it does 34 to 18. It has pretty controllable recoil if you're pretty good with it. Oh my gosh, the suppression crack is also bad. This is scary. I don't like this. Please remove the suppression crack again. At least for these 100 RPM snipers, this is too much suppression. But yeah, the Colt SMG is insanely powerful. Probably not going to change anytime soon, which is sad. Because objectively, it's been the best SMG in the game for a very long time. And hopefully... They'll fix that. I have no idea. Also, they mega nerfed the M231. It now does 32 to 20. I might make a full video on this because it might have changed other stuff. But basically, M231 meta is kind of dead. And that doesn't concern me that much because it's insanely powerful. But maybe it'll still be pretty good. I'm not too sure. And also, the Executioner apparently got a nerf. Nope. So basically what they're... Oh, they did. As you can see, it now single loads shells, which is pretty cool. The reload animation isn't perfect yet. This will still probably be the meta. I mean, it one shot so far. It doesn't matter. They're not fixing the problem with this gun, which is that it just one shots far. And I'm, I don't even really like the gun too much, but wow, that empty reload, man. Keep in mind, this will actually make speed loader quite a bit better, which is cool, but it'll have like a different upside and downside than before because now you can single load faster but reloading the entire magazine will be faster with the speed loader which is a cool uh, addition i would say there's also a yellow laser that's actually really interesting i might redo the uh, laser guide video but let's see this okay so speed loader is super super slow but 
if you are to reload like an empty magazine, that will be faster. So as long as you're shooting like more than three or four shots, it'll actually be better to use speed load. But if you're not, then it's going to be pretty slow, not going to lie. So it is kind of a nice upside instead of before it just being like weird for empty reloading. So yeah, they did buff the AWS. It now has a faster muzzle velocity only slightly, but it has 2500, which is actually pretty good now. However, that won't be the meta. I feel like the problem now is that the intervention is once again the meta. So yeah, the intervention is once again super powerful. They give it back the seven round magazine. I don't know why, because I was using it in the test place or in the main game with the changes, and it's still really, really good. Probably still my favorite sniper in the game because it just one shots 250 studs. That's slower now. It aims slower. It shoots slower, but it one shot so far. It doesn't really matter. And the fact that it's going to have seven bullets again, I don't really see why. I feel like it's probably fine to just keep it in the niche that it was. And the seven round magazine coming back is just, it doesn't make any sense, man. They could have buffed extended magazine or like made it a ammo attachment or something like that, but no, they didn't. And they could have, what they could have done is they could have made 375 shade tag and extended mag ammo type. So now you can actually choose between shade tag and a seven round mag and a seven round mag. And yeah, you could have made the extended mag an ammo type and that would have been really nice. Intervention has triple the torsico range, so. Like, I don't really care about the RPM of the intervention. That's the only problem now, is the RPM. It has crazy velocity, crazy torso kill range, everything like that. Also, I should talk about this. I was gonna make a full video on it, like a full short video, but basically the M107 with the CQB barrel now can torso kill. And yeah, it could do that before, but it didn't have... So now this can torso kill and it has 200 RPM. So if you want to have like a CQC torso kill, where you don't really have to like try too hard. This is a pretty good option for you. It sucks at range and it doesn't really torso kill too far, but it has 200 RPM and that's kind of like the reason it's kind of broken. So yeah, be scared of people using this. It's not going to be too fun to fight these people. Like imagine this with a 10 round magazine. Yeah, it's like impossible to use. It's super trash in terms of movement and everything like that. But man, 200 RPM and you can get one shot by this thing is really scary. Like you can get one shot to the body in close range. People are talking about the USAS being broken. And I mean, it's basically the A12. It shoots super fast and it takes no skill to use. It doesn't mean it's broken. It just means that it's going to be really annoying. A lot of people are like, why do they add it? I don't really know why they added it because everybody really hates the AA-12. So it's weird that they're adding a new AA-12, but we'll see how broken it is when it hits main game. And hopefully because it's like rank 70, it won't be super overused. But rank 70, that's not a super high rank. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people are going to end up using this and it's going to be scary. Hopefully you can actually figure out how to counter this gun. The hits to kill are just so bad. It just takes so many shots. Even at like close range, you might one shot a guy, perhaps. Okay. It has 70 reserve. It used to have 100, now it has 70 reserve ammo, and that's a little bit too much too. It should have like 40, maybe even 30, because. Yeah, I can like just walk around and kill a million guys because it's so easy to use. I'm just walking around. Killing the entire squad here. Okay. Another one is probably the C8A2. The C8A2 is basically the C7, but with more RPM and better CQC performance. And since they removed long barrel on the C7, this is actually more of a uh, not not a direct upgrade. C7 still has the insane accuracy. It can also have 7.62 with 20 rounds and has. 900 RPM and really low recoil for a two-shot headshot and three-shot up close, which makes this kind of a menace. I'm not going to lie. If you want to have an insanely powerful CQC gun that can actually just beam people, because this is 7.62, this is AK bullets, but it's actually accurate. It's kind of scary. For example, if I use like a full setup on this, that is so accurate for a 7.62 gun with nearly a thousand RPM. It is so- I don't know if this is going to be like the main gun that people use. It's still not super accurate, like beyond belief. But for a two-shot headshot, it's really, really good. And that outperforms like the M231 now. I don't know. Like two-shot headshot, the M231 could never do that. They nerfed HK416, but hollow point is still very, very powerful on it. Because yes, it's a six shot at range. However, it's still three shots to like 80 studs. So if you're using it in CQC, hollow point is still really, really good. And let's be real, HK416 is not a super long range gun, except with 300. And 300 got a massive nerf that's bigger than the hollow point. Nerf. The hollow point HK416 is still very, very good. Scar Hammer 9mm is still very, very good, but the main thing right now is probably the L86, which I heard that they nerfed. So yeah, they did remove the torso multiplier, which is great because it can no longer four shot to the torso at any range, but the problem is still 223. It still doesn't move. That's the problem with it. Like, 
This man really rolling up on me. It has 50 bullets and it doesn't move. That's the problem with the L86. It doesn't really matter what the damage is too much. To a certain extent, like if it was like an 8 shot at range, of course it wouldn't be that great. But the thing is, it can hit its shots at range. That's the problem with it, is that it's accurate. Like you can actually just laser everybody with it and that's just the problem like it doesn't matter that it doesn't shoot too fast or have like the best reload time or anything it has 50 bullets and it's really accurate so it's really good haha <laughs> ma55 is so bad now ma55 is so bad it's 31 to 15 so as you guys know in the last update and in the current update kind of the ak-47 was really really broken and part of that was because of the headshot multiplier and they did lower the headshot multiplier but with short barrel it goes up to 1.6 which means kind of the old version of it, but with more recoil, which is, you know, it's fine. Now, the problem is they did increase the recoil by quite a bit, as you can tell, but still, I mean, it has the freaking two-shot headshot, one head, one limb combo, and wow, okay, the recoil is a lot more now. I think the meta of the M16 variants is kind of the M16A4 now, because they're nerfing all the burst rifles, and it looks like it has more recoil now, which is not a huge problem, not gonna lie, like, it's kind of more of a CQC gun. It can't really laser people at range now, but still the m16a4 it's still really good the xix is still really good the am3 is still really good although not quite as good as when it first came out and of course the executioner got changed but apparently if i spawn in with that too many times i will break my game so i'm not going to do that but yeah i do feel like the xix is still probably the best pistol i still prefer it over the executioner now that they've completely changed the executioner it has an insanely slow reload time and this like, that's not amazing, but eight bullets for that reload time for, like, a one-shot from every single one of those bullets versus, like, six with, like, an insanely slow reload time. Oh, that was beautiful. They actually rebounds the X95R recoil overall, and I did make a video about 300 on this gun a long time ago, and how it's actually really good because it can two-shot headshot up close and actually can five-shot torso all ranges, and it shoots really fast. It's kind of like an HK416 but now with possibly less recoil. It doesn't have great velocity or anything, but pretty solid gun overall. I wouldn't say it's like super broken now, but it is really, really good. Maybe they didn't change recoil and blackout. Actually, no, it's way more accurate. This gun used to not be... It's good, dude. It's actually good. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like this. Bro, it beams. What is he doing there? What are you doing there? What are you doing there? Let me reload, please. Oh my gosh, this multi. No, <laughs> we tried. Hey, that was a good multi. That's the intro. That's the intro right there, dude. That was a good multi. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, Mark 11 500 Phantom. Yes, the final broken gun I would say right now is the Mark 11 500 Phantom. They actually buffed Mark 11 500 Phantom in the last update, and yeah, it was really a menace, and they still haven't changed that. It's still one shots, headshot, all ranges, torso kill to 65 studs. It has pretty awful velocity, actually the, like the worst velocity you've ever seen on one of these types of guns. Like, I'll just show you with a, uh, as you can see, like... I really, that's from like 200 studs away. Most of the time, I could probably aim directly at the head and actually kill a guy from that range, which is just ridiculous. But yeah, it has a lot of drop, but the thing is, in CQC, it literally has a better torso kill range than like half of the sniper rifles, and it can two-shot basically anywhere on the body, all ranges, one shot up close, one shot headshot all ranges. It is really, really good if you can control the drop. That's about it. But yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and sub, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.